The salmon farming industry in British Columbia relies and depends on a whole host of chemicals um, from cleaners, disinfectants, antibiotics, and pesticides and other drugs. Um, one example is the chemical known as emamectin benzoate or slice. This drug is used to control infestations of sea lice on the farm fish. So it's integrated into the feed and fed to the fish. Um, and it was recently approved by Health Canada uh, for broad use. Um, and I was kind of curious about that when it was first approved. So I contacted a director at Health Canada and asked about the science that substantiated the full approval. And what she told me was is that she couldn't release any of the information or the, the studies that substantiated the full release. And I was, that was kind of of concern to me because it basically told me that Canada was telling us that, you know, this drug is safe for us to uh, use in the industry and we eat the fish so it's safe for us to eat. Um, but they couldn't substantiate us and show the science around that. So because the science was proprietary information. A lot of the environmental effects of slice are unknown at this point. Uh, there's ongoing research looking into the environmental effects. Um, it controls sea lice, which are a crustacean, and uh, so are a number of other uh, organisms in the marine environment. Crustaceans make up the basis of the food web in the marine environment. So if this drug is passed into the marine environment, we, we still really don't know the long-term or short-term effects uh, of this drug because re research is continuing. So slice is just one drug or chemical that's used in the uh, salmon farming industry. Um, there are a whole host of other uh, cleansers and disinfectants, antibiotics and other drugs that are used. Uh, it, the industry is quite addicted to a number of different chemicals. Uh, for example, we do see around some farms elevated levels of certain contaminants like copper and zinc um, and both of these chemicals are used in the industry. We also do see elevated levels of mercury in rockfish, wild rockfish around farms um, and it's been hypothesized that mercury is transferred from the feed and bioaccumulates through the food web and affects fish like rockfish. So there are a number of concerns around a whole host of chemicals that are used in the salmon farming industry in British Columbia.